Brett and Eric discuss. In this video, we'll talk about exercise and some ideas for exercise that can help you during this self-distancing or quarantining time. Now, Brett, you're working out twice a day, right? Like uh, lifting, oh, yeah. running. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger, I am. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they can barely fit in the camera. <laughs> So for those of you that are still working at home, maybe you're under quarantine. Maybe you're just not comfortable going back out into the public yet. Uh, you know, let's talk about why exercise is important first before we go into the ideas. Even yeah, for those people that didn't exercise before, it's important. And, and why is that, Brad? Well, now we're in a different environment. People are at home. The stress of being at home, even though home should be your safe space. <laughs> right. But, right. you know, maybe all your kids are back from college. you got your high school kids. You, you know, your spouse is there. Um, your, your pets are there. You're not used to being home. You're used to being at the office. You come home at night. You have X number of hours with them with activities yeah, like absolutely. dinner and things. And it's kind of fast and you move on and you don't have to spend a lot of quality time with the family, but now you're forced to. And you know, the kids are home, they're unsupervised because they're not at school, you need to do stuff. You, you're, you, you maybe you've lost your job or maybe your uh, pay has been reduced. Right. Um, so there's, there's stresses of that. And of course there's the essential worker that is working more hours than ever, keeping us all safe, healthy, and, and fed and so forth, and we thank them for that. But they have stress too. The stress Even of getting they don't have, sick, right? The stress of, of possibly yes, losing a the life. extra yeah. hours. Yeah. And they got the commute, and, and they have the stress of being, as you say, exposed to it, and maybe loss of life to them and their yeah. family. So they may not That's have as much time like the rest of us, but their, their need to reduce their mental stress, physical stress, and um, this is important for them as well. Yeah, so I think it, I think it's important to exercise, and I think that's true even for those of us that don't exercise. And let me give a simple example of why I think that is. My job, I wear a, an Apple Watch, and I used to uh, I used to track my steps going to and from the office just out of curiosity. It's a big campus, and I had a long walk from the parking lot to the office, which you really notice, by the way, in the cold winter, cold winter <laughs> days. Um, and it's about 1,400 steps each direction from my car all the way to the building, from the building entrance to my office space. Oh, and, uh, you know, that's uh, 3,000 steps a day, which is, approximates pretty close to uh, a mile and a half for a lot of people, depending on your stride length. So you might think that you weren't exercising before, but a lot of us were exercising and staying at home all the time without a commute, without mm -hmm. going out and getting groceries, without going out and shopping, you're not spending as much time on your feet. You're not spending as much time walking. So even the non-exercisers were getting some exercise that they might be missing out on now. So That's if, really if you're point, one yeah. of those people, what are some of the ways that you can continue to get exercise in this current environment where you might be self-distancing or quarantined right now? Well, if you're at home, you have the opportunity to just utilize the basic stuff at home. If you're sitting in a chair, watching TV, binge watching as they talk about, you know, instead of maybe um, those uh, 12 ounce curls with a, with a beer in your hand. It's coffee you know, today. You, it's coffee? Okay, you got coffee. Well, good thing for this hour of the day. But, you know, instead of being on the couch uh, lifting uh, bottles of beer, you know, maybe you can pick up a brick. Maybe you, you have an old dumbbell somewhere in the right. basement. Um, also, you do leg raises. You know, like you, you're doing a lot of walking in the office. You're, you're not at home. Leg raises. Maybe stand behind the chair and just do some squats. You can still binge watch and you can still take care of yourself. That's right. And if you're fortunate enough to have a treadmill, you can set a TV up in front of the treadmill. You can binge watch your Netflix if you're if you're able to do that instead of working while well, getting some, some steps in. Exactly. And if you want to carve a little more time out for a little bit more structured, um, exercise. You can go outside. Right. When I go, when I go to walk, I don't walk at a park or on the sidewalk. Actually, I go to the municipal building, the arts building, in the parking lot, which is empty, <laughs> and I just do laps back and forth. You know, trying to avoid people. Yeah. Um, yeah. To, to avoid the COVID nineteen. Yeah. Um, just trying to do whatever I can. To I bet you the are the only person walking in a parking lot. I am. 
I am. And what's That's interesting for social distancing. I get it. <laughs> very good. But what's really interesting is they park the extra police cars in this parking lot. So every now and then a police officer will drive in just to check to make sure he is crazy. He's just going back and forth, back and forth. He's not... He's not um, scoping our cars. Uh, yeah, that's but funny. Anyhow. Well, you know, I started uh, walking as soon as I, uh, I got into this current quarantine environment. And within a couple of weeks, I went from feeling so good from the walking because, you know, exercise releases endorphins. So I'd go out for a nice long two, two and a half mile walk at lunch. And, uh, and then I got to the point where I started getting frustrated if my day got so busy that I didn't have time for my walk. I would literally get upset about it. I'm like, man, I didn't get my walk in today. But it does really make you feel good. And it helps with that stress from a mental perspective because it releases those endorphins. Yeah. And, you know, the same kind of feeling that you get if you're a chocolate lover and you take a bite of chocolate. Yeah, it's great. But with exercise, you probably are going to lose weight instead of gaining it unless you're building muscle. Um, and you don't get the sugar, so you don't have the sugar highs and lows. You don't get the sleepiness from it. So it's really a, a nice alternative to, uh, you know, other ways to feel good, I guess. Yeah, good point. It, it does help your um, physical and also your mental outlook on things. And it's so important to do it. Um, and even some uh, yard work outside, whether you're, you're um, pushing a mower, you know, you're trimming trees. Um, right. You're doing landscaping projects where you're lifting stuff, you're digging stuff up, you're yeah, putting absolutely. stuff in. You know, it's not structured. It's not like going to the gym and walking on a treadmill or the Stairmaster or something. But it is work and you don't always consider it. Just like when you were at the office walking your mile and a half every day, just around the campus and so forth. This is the exact same thing. Often you're down, you're bending, you're stretching, you're lifting. Um, those projects are great. You get satisfaction from seeing the yard cut and yep. the landscaping improved. And you're also breathing fresh air. You're getting some sunlight. You're, you're uh, exercising your heart. It's all good. Yeah, in we fact, just have to that's a good point, Brett. So the other day I was feeling so good, I decided to get up and go for an interval run about a week ago. Knees a little sore from it. So don't overdo it. That's one thing. You always want to ease into exercise. Don't go out day one and try to run a marathon if you've never done it before. Um, but I felt so good. I went out for an interval run in the morning and throughout the day I got busy and then the next thing I know I'm mowing the yard and then I'm working on some uh, other DIY projects and I was on my feet 16 hours that day according to my activity tracker on my watch and get an activity tracker some kind of wearable technology if you can afford it it's a good way just to see how much impact your your busyness if you will around the home has that day I did over 20,000 more than 20,000 steps in one day wow okay yeah and which was my record uh, for domestic steps. When I travel, sometimes we walk a lot, but uh, domestically at home, that's the most I've ever done in a day. So, you know, it's good exercise too. So that's your personal best. So yeah, now that's we have my a, personal now best. You have a, so you now have a target to try to go for your personal best. That's yep, awesome. Yep. And you know, the other thing is uh, the exercise, it helps you feel better at, uh, physically and mentally. But it also, it helps you look better and that improves your confidence. If you're re-entering the workforce, I think you mentioned in another discussion that we had that that's important, right? If you walk into an interview and you feel good about the way you look, you're gonna be more confident, you're gonna be more, more poised, and you're gonna be more desirable for someone to hire because they like to see someone that looks good, feels good about the way they look, and has the confidence that accompanies it. Good point, because if you've been off work and it's been a long time since you've worn your interviewing type clothes, you yeah. know, your body might have grown over the last few years with your business casual clothes that, you know, if it doesn't fit right, hang right, you, you know, um, the um, person could prejudge you. Right. Shouldn't be done that way. You should always Probably be judged on, on your skills no. and your merits. But it's a human nature. It's what always happens. They always say first impressions yep. are last are long lasting. Well, here we go. So if someone is looking for a job, very important from stress management to exercise, but also from a physical point of view to look good, look like you're in charge of what you're going to be doing. That's you right. have the confidence, then they can they can feel comfortable handing you the ball and saying this is your job. You run with it. That's exactly right. And you know what? Uh, We'd love to hear your comments about possible exercise ideas. 
uh, benefits of exercise, things people should watch out for uh, if they're new to exercise. We, you know, we're not exercise coaches or doctors. Uh, these are just our personal experiences as people going through the same situation that many of you are right now. So comment below. We'd love to hear. We hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we hope that the exercise helps reduce your anxiety about this COVID situation. We hope it helps some of you deal better with economic anxiety. And if you have the time and you're an essential worker, hopefully it helps you deal with your, your anxiety about the, being an essential worker right now. And once again, thank you to all the essential workers and all thank the people you keeping much. the lights what on. Thank you very much So So important to us. Thank any you. finishing thoughts, Brett? No, that's awesome. It's just exercise, good for mental um, uh, stress management, your physical um, well-being. Um, also, try to pull out a family member, a friend. Yes. You know, and get get anybody in your community walking. Just in stay a walking social group. distance, and I do see yeah. people doing that, walking ten feet apart, talking while they're walking. And I think that's fantastic. Help other people. That's yes. what we need to do at this time. Yep, yeah, agree. So, thanks for watching. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching, Brett and Eric discuss. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, give us the thumbs up. If you have any comments, we'd love to hear from you. Please leave a comment down below. Also, if you haven't already subscribed yet, please do so. Next to that subscribe button is a notification bell. If you like these videos, ring that bell.